Got our temperature tracker. We can see that temperatures are starting to drop, but in the world of weather and real estate, two things are true. Location matters and sunshine always helps. We can see that plenty of sunshine was had throughout the day over in the lower Snake River Plain and the Eastern Magic Valley. Temperatures around the higher 40s, mid 40s in American Falls, 43 degrees. But take a look at the upper Snake River Plain, Idaho Falls, Rexburg, still in the 20s, and they were on the cloudier side. And this is still showing temperature wise. Taking a quick look at satellite and radar, we can see that the cloud cover still lingers and it is starting to thin out some, but it's gonna still be prevalent throughout the evening and to the overnight hours. But as we zoom out, we can see that we have a high pressure system that is really the main factor that's creating what we are seeing in sunshine. And this will be the main driver for our sunshine for the next few days. But as we jump along right, right over towards the Aleutian Islands, we can see that we already have next this weekend's storm basically being produced and that's going to be the main driving factor for the rain and the cloud covers that we'll see on Sunday going into Monday before there's another system that does move in from the west coast for Tuesday. Tonight's lows we'll see that it's going to be another chilly one. We'll see temperatures around the teens and single digits. Once again, we'll see three degrees as a low in Idaho Falls, 18 in Pocatello. We'll see 12 in Ledore, 13 in Mackey and in Chalice. And for Jackson, we'll see 11. So quite a bit of a chillier night, but luckily the warming trend continues as we finish off the week. For Thursday, we'll see that temperatures will be around the freezing mark in Western Wyoming for the Snake River Plain and Southeast Idaho, we can continue to see temperatures remaining around the mid 30s and take a look at the Central Mountains. Quite nice temperatures. Temperatures close to 40 degrees. We'll see 37 in Ledor, 40 in Chalice and in Stanley. So quite a nice way to start to wrap up the weekend for Friday Junior. And for your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast for Pocatello, while we do see a mix of sun and clouds, they start to thin out and really become more mostly sunny of a day. Temperatures throughout the rest of the week will continue to rise. And by the time we get to Idaho Falls, we'll see a very similar seven day forecast temperatures a little bit cooler. But by the time Thursday and Friday really start to make their rounds, the cloud cover will start to thin out and this is something that we'll see also in the Teton area before the weekend does have that possibility of snow. Temperatures will remain mild around in the mid 30s and we'll see plenty of sunshine to finish off the week in the Central Mountains. Temperatures will remain in the 40s.